Pretty damn nervous, to be honest with you. Help. Today we're gonna be looking for some massive Megalodon teeth. If we can find one that is eight inches long, there's a million dollar bounty on it. So we have a million dollars on the line today to see if we can find an eight inch tooth. No one has ever done it before. In the meantime, we should be able to find quite a few just like this right here. Don't forget to leave a like and let's get right into the video. Luckily, we do not just have today to get this done. We're gonna be diving all weekend. We're gonna be doing a two tank dive today, so that's gonna give us a good little bit down there. We're loading up the boat right now we're gonna head out we got Kyle Blake and Emmy Kyle got his new fancy wetsuit he's he's liking it oh get it get it Kyle mm -hmm. oh 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 ladies he's taken all right we're about to fire up the boat and get there after a long boat ride we got geared up and got in the water I do have to say for not doing this for over a year I was a little bit nervous to get down in the water so I let Kyle go first once Kyle gave me the signal he safely made it down to the bottom it was my turn to go on under once we got down to the bottom I was actually pretty shocked at how good the visibility was once I got down to the bottom it didn't take me very long to find my first tooth of the trip scattered all across the bottom of this river there are these big whale bones now this is just a little one but it's still crazy that there's so many down there when I say there's a lot of whale bones I mean there's a lot of whale bones unfortunately sometimes we find some teeth like this I'm taking my time and kind of have my hopes up that I'm going to find a good small tooth that I can replace my current shark tooth necklace with. Out of all the dangers that come with blackwater diving, alligators, sharks, my biggest fear has to be the boats. As you can hear, it is very, very loud underwater, so we are sure to get down as low as we can until the boat passes. I was going up the river and I saw this thing that looked like a whalebone, but after looking at it a little bit closer, I realized it wasn't a whalebone, it was actually a sperm whale tooth. Not too much further away, I ended up finding this old brick with a really cool pattern on it. Sometimes you also stumble upon an unexpected guest. And not surprising, we end up finding some trash down there as well. After searching veins of gravel for about 40 minutes, I finally found this. We ended up finding our biggest tooth of the day and it was in perfect condition. After finally finding a big tooth, it gave me some motivation to keep on searching. This tooth was nearly perfect, it was just missing a little bit of the left corner. After being down there for some time, I was sure to check my gauge to make sure we wouldn't run out of air. I ended up discovering a bunch of them right here. I loaded them in my bag and we continued our search. If you listen closely here, you can actually hear sheep's head munching on barnacles. If you don't know what a sheep's head looks like, here you go. And no, those teeth are not photoshopped. After a while, it was time to come up and get a new tank. The tide switched on me, so now I have to swim into the current all the way back to the boat, which is far away. As I came up to switch tanks, Emmy was going back in the water. After switching tanks and dropping off my shark's teeth, we're back down in the water. After I took my break, I realized that the current has picked up so much, you can just see the sediment flying by. I'm fighting for my life to stay on the bottom here. Unfortunately, this is one of my only teeth I found on my second dive, just due to the fact that the current was moving so fast, my asthmatic ass could not keep up with the river. So the first day of diving has been complete. I'm gonna go over a few of the teeth that I found today. Unfortunately, no eight inch Megalodon, so we got two more days to find it, but, I did find a fairly big tooth today. Fairly big hands, it's about the size of my palm, but the spot we were diving at today, we were going for smaller, better quality teeth. I was trying to find something to replace this one right here. I think I did, I think I'm gonna go with this one. There, nothing too crazy, and then I got a bunch of like little pieces. This in my hand is actually a whale tooth. I thought it was a little piece of a bone. We also, I found a ton of bones, but I just left, I just left them down there. I thought this was a, like a little piece of a rib, but it actually turned out to be a whale tooth. Her first time diving today, she got a bunch some really good teeth as well. I will see y'all tomorrow at the boat ramp. We got another full day of diving ahead of us. I will see y'all then. Bam! We still have not found the million dollar Meg tooth. We are looking. We are going to a new spot today, looking for some bigger teeth. We got stuck on some small ones yesterday, some beautiful ones, but we're looking for the million dollar tooth. And hopefully, 
we're gonna be able to find it today. Blake's about to find the million dollar med tooth right here. There's a 60 foot hole right there. He's going down in it. By himself, I gotta stay up here and watch bubbles because Emmy decided not to come with us today. Be safe, man. You got this. You're gonna come up with that bag gonna be full. Hopefully it's that good. It's some, I mean, it's a sharp, sharp ledge, 60 foot. Goes from six to 50, just a big bowl. Pretty damn nervous, to be honest with you, about this spot, but. Yeah, you got it, man. Long story short, Blake made it safely to the surface and he didn't find anything, so he switched spots. As I was descending down the rope, I noticed something a little bit different about today. I can actually see the bottom. Now this is black water. Usually at this spot, you cannot see two inches in front of your face. The fact that I could actually see up to three feet today was insane. My very first tooth of the day is actually the tooth I'm going to replace my shark tooth necklace with. With the water being so clear, it was surprisingly hard to find teeth. I did not realize until I got out of the water that this was actually slack tied, so I needed to be digging and I was just looking on top and all the teeth were covered with sediment. After a while of searching, I finally found another nice tooth. I could barely just make out the shape of a triangle. I honestly got pretty lucky that I spotted this one. And of course, at the second spot, there was also a ton of whale bones as well. The teeth I was finding today were few and far between, but man, were they in perfect condition. When I saw this tooth, my heart sank, and then I picked it up and realized it was broken. I was so disappointed. I grabbed this really quick thinking it was a whale bone, and luckily I took a closer look at it because it was actually a Native American pipe. After not finding anything for some time, I decided to surface and go try a new spot. Now this is where things take a turn for the worse. We have never been here before, so I am doing a test dive. This is actually my first test dive in black water. I wave goodbye to Blake as I go down, and little did I know what was about to happen. Right here is how black water gets its name. As you can see, if I turned off the flashlight, I would be seen nothing. It was about 40 feet deep and I landed on a nice gravel bed, which is what we're looking for, so I continued looking around, trying to find some teeth on top. After only being in the water for 3 minutes, I noticed something was wrong when I started losing vision in my left eye. I tried to clear my mask to see if that would fix it, but unfortunately it did not. Just as I thought it couldn't get any worse, I started to lose vision in my right eye and at this point I'm freaking out, I cannot see anything underwater, I'm trying not to pass my bubbles, I cannot see anything out of my mask, and I'm just trying to get to the surface as fastly and as safely as I can. Once I got up to the surface, I immediately filled up my BC and took off my mask, and let me tell you how much of a relief it was once I took off my mask that I could actually see. Something's wrong. I'm bleeding like a mother What? My whole mask is filled with blood. I just saw red. Help. That was the scariest thing that's ever happened to me while diving. We are trying a new spot right now. We've never been here before. We descended about 35 feet just straight down into pure darkness. It was so dark, you could not see anything without the flashlight. Well, I was down there for about two minutes, just started to look around, getting comfortable, kind of knowing my bearings, and then all of a sudden, my left eye just goes completely red, like slowly from the bottom up. I'm like, what, what the heck? And then my right eye starts getting red too, and I'm like, oh no, so I tried to clear my mask, didn't change it. I'm like, oh no, dude. I just bursted blood vessels in my eyes and like, this isn't good. So I immediately shot back up to the top and I'm like, oh no, my mask filled with blood from my nose. <laughs> that is going to wrap up today's video. We did have to end the dive a little bit early just because that whole situation with my nose and going on. I did not want to get back down there just in case, but the search continues for the million dollar Meg tooth. We are going to continue this. If you guys want us to go make another video on it, let me know down in the comments. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.